Blocus is a two or four player game where players alternate laying pieces on a lattice grid. Players must start at opposite corners of the board. In addition, corners of your pieces must touch corners of your other pieces and may not share edges with your own pieces or overlap with other shapes. At the end of the game, the player with the total highest area of pieces on the board is the winner. For our CS51 final project, we implemented a Blocus Solver. One of the biggest challenges we faced in implementing the Blockus game was organizing the complex relationships between the players, the game, the pieces, and the board. Our solution was object-oriented programming. Individual pieces became subclasses that inherited from a general shape class, while players were instantiated by strategies that they used to choose moves, such as random choice, greedy, or even user input. The game had access to players and the board and managed the proposed moves of the players, only updating the board if the move was valid. This was determined by a series of methods that the game could call on a board in order to check if the rules were all satisfied. Now that you understand the implementation of our interface, I'm going to explain the algorithms that we used. We used a greedy algorithm that maximizes the size of the piece played and the difference in corners between the player and his or her opponents. Our second algorithm looks two moves ahead and chooses the move with the highest total score. We called this minimax player. Our greedy and minimax players won against random every time we played. We quickly realized that going first is a big advantage and so we took this into consideration. We found that greedy that maximizes size more than corners does better than greedy that maximizes, maximizes corners more, even when it goes second. Minimax beats both greedy players, even when it goes second, but not by much since it's only looking one move ahead. This is especially interesting because our Minimax player can only correctly predict its opponent's move if it has the same weightings for maximizing size and corners. We created a user interface that allows people to play against our players and choose which one to play against. Here the user is playing against the Minimax player. An image pops up after the instructions to help the player when placing pieces. The player chooses a shape and reference point indicated by red dots in the picture. If there are multiple options, our UI lets them choose the one they want. 